Hello everyone, welcome to Stuff. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw this penguin. The ingredients for this recipe are a pencil, a eraser, and a pen. Let's get started with the penguin. Before we start, make sure you have subscribed and like to my channel. To start, you want to make the basic shapes of the penguin, which is the head and the body, which are two ovals on top of each other. I'm going to be outlining it with pen because you can't see it in pencil. So yeah, make sure you have enough space above, below from left and right of the penguin because if you don't have any space it, it looks like you it ate too many Big Macs. I'm gonna outline it in pen so yeah. So first make the circle of the penguin. Draw the body of the penguin. Then connect the two parts with two lines, which is the neck. See, that's the neck right there. Next, draw a big oval with a line through it. This is going to be your last basic shape. That's the line that goes right through it. And then, so now you should re erase all the unnecessary lines, which is like this line, um, some guidelines, and yeah, just erase the guidelines. Next, you're gonna make a oval right about here with your pencil, and then you're gonna draw a line that looks kind of like a sand dune right through it, which is this over here. Next, you're gonna draw another oval inside of the bigger oval. Then you're gonna draw another oval inside the bigger oval that's inside the bigger oval. Which is that one right there. And then you're gonna draw a trapezoid that touches the sand dune, which is, you know, this thing over here. So you're gonna draw a trapezoid for this. Then you want to make sure that the lines are smooth and it looks like a beak and not just like triangle. Like, 
then um, inside the beak for the mouth you're gonna draw a triangle with a bottom that's like wavy. Make sure they connect about two thirds of the way through and then just don't draw the line anymore. This is the beak. Then make sure that your penguin's smiling and add a line over here. That line over here. I think that makes it smile. Okay. Then for the flippers or wings, you are going to draw a shape that kind of looks like a sock puppet, like there. And for the other flipper, which is on the other side of the penguin, you're gonna draw like something like a shark's fin. Next, you're going to put in the feet for the penguin, which is like two tiny shoes or something. There's your penguin, but you're not done yet. As you can see, this penguin has a darker body here in the eye, here, the shoes, the mouth, and also the head. So we're just gonna shape that in with a pencil. So yeah, let's do it. Make sure you do not shade too light because on my first attempt, I kind of did it too, too dark. So yeah, this is not what you want. So just saying. Make sure you shade lightly and make sure that the lines don't like conflict each other and make sure they're not like going in one direction and the other lines going in the other directions. So after you slowly fill up the penguin, I'm not even close to done, so yeah. Shading takes a long time, so yeah, just like, you know, don't fall asleep or anything. Yay, almost there. Why did I have to shake the penguin? shading very quickly so um, some of the lines might get outside of the lines so you can just quickly erase that or you can just like keep the lines inside of the lines.
make sure you don't forget to shade the feet and also the eyes and the other flipper on, or wing on the other side Erase the unneeded lines, which are the lines that go on the other side of the line that, you know. And boom, there's your penguin. I mean, like, you can't even tell which one I did first. They look almost identical. So, yeah. I'm going to make new videos every Sunday. Um, please subscribe and like the video. Um, I'll see you next time on Stuff.